And now I present to you James B. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay, we are here. Oh, all you jabronis out there. Welcome everyone to Progressive Discussions. I'm your host, uh, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. And um, I would like to introduce my uh, illustrious co host and mentor and the founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977. <laughs> the one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week, sir? You're here. I'm here. It's the middle of... Um, October. It might even be a little past the middle of October. It's past October. Uh, 2015. 2015. 2000. The election's not here yet. Why, do, why does everybody I fucking know love to interrupt old James? It is the. It, it is a little past the middle of October, two thousand and fifteen. I have to finish my sentences. Uh, no, that sounds contrived. Boney Maroney. No, I have to uh, complete my spiel. Maybe, 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 or, maybe after whatever. Or my presentation, or whatever. My my intro. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, well, you know, since since um, the people <laughs> on my Facebook groups and on my Facebook oh profile really don't acknowledge this show, I get my acknowledgement and kudos and everything else from people I never, I have, I that I don't know anything about on the internet. You know, Google and YouTube. I get them from them, but the people that I supposedly know in different degrees—some are friends, some are close, some are acquaintances, mm -hmm. some are just there. You know, um, nothing, nothing. So I, I'm not going to give any uh, shout-outs. Or greetings except to my near dear friend in Osaka Japan Miho hello Miho uh, and um, yeah we haven't chatted in, in quite a while I hope everything is good with you I know it is uh, what they call flu season and she works in the medical and pharmaceutical uh, pharmaceutical profession more or less uh, so it is flu season. I hope everyone is uh, doing what they're supposed to do. Take optimum amounts of uh, <coughs> natural vitamin A and D and vitamin C in, in the mega doses and uh, get some homeopathic uh, cold and flu product like a silicoxinum. So uh, I have mine. <laughs> I don't have a cold, but there is ragweed out there. Now, um, what are you going to do? People are funny. People are strange. I could never be a psychologist because I'll end up strangling my patients. I can't figure them out. What they do is completely illogical, you know, like the average American voter. Uh, I can't make sense out of people I know, like I said before. You know, they, they, people generally have the money and have the time for crap, for stupid things, even harmful things. But they don't have the money or the time for what's important. And uh, it's like with uh, New Jersey voters, let's say, or maybe we, maybe we can say Wisconsin and Florida. They have Republican governors that are scumbags, all three states, except ours is uh, obese, much heavier than the other two. Uh, and uh, He's not heavy, he's my brother. He has big bones. Mm -hmm. He has titanium bones. Uh, Chris Christie. But the thing is, people bitch and moan about them all the time, and what happens? They re-elected them. Yeah. They re-elected them. 
So, you know, beats the shit out of me. I mean, I mean somebody told me with Scott Walker in Wisconsin, he's a, he's a big Coke brother's sucker, Coke sucker, and he uh, got a lot of assistance from them. But still, you know, Wisconsin is, is a traditional um, uh, uh, blue state, union, pro-union state, yeah, well, Min like Minnesota. But that's what the Republicans are against. The unions, they cause all these problems. Well, that's the whole... Unions. That's the whole general idea. Well, that's why he's popular. He's popular because... That's why he got elected. Because he, he hoodwinked and brainwashed yes. the Wisconsin people. And not only that... The, the, well, the, how does a union... How does... How do people that are uh, consenting adults with some intelligence... How do they get brainwashed to demonize unions? Because How does that happen? People don't want to pay money in a union. Right. Dues for whatever. But without the union, but without the union, but without the union, they get do do. Bingo. Do do. If Bingo. they don't want to pay the dues. But what are politics? What do we say every week? Which you don't like, but that's the fact. People, perception. Pe people are stupid. Well, percep perception. See, old man Spock. Yes. Perception is extremely illogical if you can't back it up. And that's what politics. And are. you know what? As Reich said, you got what you got, man. You you want a non-union job? You got what you got. If it and only as long as the boss will put up with you. Because you won't be there for 20 or 30 years no. like it used to be. In a, in a uh, and now this is another uh, uh, funny uh, title because Republicans give uh, positive names to very negative things. Uh -huh. and in a right to work state, the employer can, can, uh, uh, let you go. That's Even like a, can you. that's like a nice way of saying can fired, mm -hmm. uh, uh, scram, and get a scab to come in and take your job. One, two, yeah. and three. Well, he doesn't. The, the employer doesn't have to give you a good reason or any reason for firing you. It could be for any unjust reason. And guess what? You won't get no goddamn golden parachute either. And you know what else? You know what else? You, if you call the labor board, they'll tell you, "Sorry, it's a it's a right to work state. Uh -huh. Legally, they can yeah. they can fire you for a, a lawyer told me yeah, lawyer. personally. A lawyer told me uh, from one eight hundred lawyers. Legal. I think it was that guy with the Legal. mustache. Legal. I recognize his voice. Legal Zoom. No, Ooh. that's a scam. Legal Zoom does not save you money on the lawyer fees. Right. That is bullshit. And it, Chisler's Hall of Shame, Legal Zoom. I'm telling you, the fee was the same. But uh, one eight hundred lawyer says they could fire you if they don't like your face, they don't like your jokes, they don't like the sound of your voice. In a right to work state, is nothing the labor board can do unless it is a uh, federal discrimination law that is. Uh, 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 broken, you know, like a uh, uh, race. And guess uh, how those things got into law? Well, the, over the years, uh, uh, companies were deregulated. Yeah, but I'm saying the labor department was defanged, deballed, all of that. Because they were, they allowed made units. Because let me tell you something. You see a real macho man before you. Macho, macho. You become, you sell out if you choose to sell out. You become a eunuch if you allow yourself to become a eunuch. And speaking of, the first Democratic debate, it was obvious that uh, Hillary Clinton is not in favor of Democratic Socialism. It is obvious that Hillary Clinton is a corporatist. Uh, she's against... Uh, she wants to keep health care and uh, education <laughs> privatized. She does not want to uh, expand Social Security. She wants to only enhance it for the very poor only. Um, Ooh, what did you do? Yeah, she's... Um, 
Oh, she doesn't want to break up the bank. She just wants to go over there and say, come on, guys, cut it out. She did do that. She did do She was just there a couple of, a few days or a week ago or something. She went to Wall Street, and supposedly she did just that. Come on, guys. Be nice so Be we nice. can get elected. Big, you know? big whoop de doo as Archie Bunker used to say. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Yeah, she obviously she's a corporate. Obviously, she's no progressive. And she, she wasn't shy about showing it. She didn't hide it at all. Uh, 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 she, she claims that, uh, that uh, her plan is tougher and she's tougher than Bernie Sanders, mm. which is a complete joke. Uh, yeah, she basically showed her true colors, and um, I um, read an article uh, today that um, mm -hmm. no, it was last night that the um, the major network media in the United States they're all dying. The TV media is dying, and internet media or internet news has taken over, and it doesn't surprise me. Cable. It doesn't surprise me because um, even like CNN and all of them, it, it doesn't surprise me because with the popularity today uh, of the a smartphone and the tablet and you know people having more access to the internet than and, and, and less interest in television, that's a factor. Now uh, another thing that took place was that. Um, douchebag Anderson Cooper and uh, uh, um, Bill Mayer and CNN and you know they have something in common. Anderson Cooper played a uh, big time devil's advocate and asked some stupid questions but he went after Bernie Sanders right from the beginning right from the start. Um, he uh, now uh, obviously he has to please his uh, the corporate sponsors that pay his uh, salary to sign his paycheck. So he had a kiss up to them. CNN says Hillary won the debate, uh -huh. and uh, that wasn't surprising. It's the only thing that's the only thing that said she won the debate. Everybody else yeah. said it went to Boyne. Yeah, well, it's obvious because uh, the company that owns CNN is a contributor to the Hillary Clinton campaign. So that doesn't surprise me either. Um, or, now with Bill Mayer, he he starts off supporting Bernie Sanders and pledging to donate to mm. Bernie Sanders' campaign. Then all of a sudden, from what I understand, Bill Mayer plays devil's advocate and starts busting Bernie Sanders' balls. So I I think that was to um, to suck up to his corporate sponsors that pay his salary. See, every time Bernie is on, um, is being interviewed on any network, on cable TV, he, um, they do that. They, 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 they bust his chops about socialism and about all this crap, and they, they, they play devil's advocate and they go after him, you know, and this is what's going on with the U.S. media, uh, Everyone else says Bernie won by a landslide, and he did. And he did, and, and, and young people love him, and uh, I'm very happy, and I want to salute Mr. Seth McFarlane, who does the voices and, and produces all those famous uh, cartoons today, uh, when Bernie was in Hollywood, I guess, or L.A. Bernie Sanders was in Los Angeles recently, so... Seth <laughs> McFarland did a great job. Um, Bernie convinced him to come out of the closet, I believe, uh, which was a, which was sus a suspected that Seth was gay because, ah! because he, there's a lot of show tunes in his um, in his uh, 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 cartoons, so gays usually like show tunes. Now I hear. A meow that sounds like Steve. He's out there. Now, Steve the cat. If I didn't love him so much, I would get pissed. I think he's got some sort of 
cognitive deficit. He's a black and white Sylvester Felix looking cat that just has to do this now during the show. Well, Steve, come on, come on. Where is he? No, is, is he by the mailbox? This is Beelzebub. Beelzebub doing this. Is he by the this mail? is to sabotage our show. Steve, where are you? <laughs> there is no Steve. But I heard it. I did too. Steve. Oh, Steve. Goodbye, Steve. Goodbye, Steve. You, you fucking made me look like a jackass at my show. Unprofessional, Steve. Thank you. Something went wrong when I did the, um, well, first I'll, <coughs> I'll thank him and salute him. Actually, he, he deserves a shout out, most definitely. I thought there were no shout outs. No, but I did a show re, um, the other day uh -huh. with Mr. Uh, with Organic Farmer uh -huh. and Progressive Warrior and a fitness expert, Mr. Stephen R. Santangelo. I went live with him via live stream, and uh, it was an outstanding show. And it's on the internet and Facebook. Uh, something went wrong with the first part. Uh -huh. Something mysterious happened, and the the uh, we were taken off the air. There's been a lot of weird shit happening, and people, and even um, Evelyn Pringle says that she uh, Facebook is not allowing her to add any more people to her uh, her list, her friends list, or something. Or what's their? Uh, they're messing with her like they mess with me. What like about watching our coocher and everything? They got millions of uh, yeah. friends. Yeah. What the hell? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's it, be uh, something else. Yeah, something's going on. Uh, it it seems like all the progressive warriors, not the, not the Barney the dinosaur Pollyannas, but the progressive warriors, are getting screwed around by that, that big nose scrawny Zionist uh, Mark Zucker geek. I think I think they're fucking with the progressive warriors. But anyway, Stephen R. Santangelo, I salute you with my uh, lucky Blackthorn shillelagh. Thank you. All right. Um, to all the um, Sash Boyle. Still, my number one administrator, Mr. Sash Boyle of San Diego, California. I salute you. But um, salute. But that's. That's it. That's it, really. Um, so anyway, uh, what, we, what we were saying, the obvious happened. And, uh, oh, 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 G Ellen DeGeneres, uh -huh. was she was actually very nice to Bernie Sanders. So I got to give credit where credit is due. Thank you. I did not see that, for and being I did not see it on Facebook nice, or on the Internet. No, I watched the... Uh, the rerun. The video. Rerun? The video. When the hell was she on? He on? Well, she's on during the day. I know. Four o'clock in the afternoon. Channel four. But what is? when was he on? And why wasn't it on the internet or on Facebook? Because I posted it. I didn't see it. I guess I'm going to have to put your name uh, underneath it. Maybe that, that you know. Anyway, he was nice to Bernie Sanders. Thank uh -huh. you. That was very nice of you to be nice to Bernie Sanders. Uh -huh. Well, All that's right. what she says at the end of her program. At the, be nice to everybody. At the as opposed to all the other people on the media who play devil's advocate and bust Bernie Sanders' balls because they don't think he could win. Well, they they they, okay. they, 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 they the people above them maybe they want to go don't. with a winner. They don't think he can win, and the guy always ends up at a bigger venue with yeah. standing room only. Okay. Yeah. They don't think he can win. Right. Oh, you know what else the it's media the old does? officialdom thingy. You know what else the media does? They keep on saying that uh, Hillary is still ahead a little bit of Bernie Sanders, when in reality, if you listen to all, all the other, uh, uh, read all the other articles, Bernie's ahead of Hillary Clinton. Yeah. 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 But it's still a year away. 
or more. Oh, by the way, uh, Hillary uh, uh, blew off uh, the words Glass-Steagall during the debate. She just changed the subject. Well, because of her hubby. Her husband signed, signed away. Signed away the law, baby. And, repealed it. And did a lot of damage when he did so. Oh, baby. What do they call that? The the Banking Act of 1933? Glass-Steagall? Glass-Steagall, yeah. It, was, it goes way back. Even before FDR, right? No, that was FDR. Oh, FD, it was FDR. Yeah. Yeah, the article said some about the bank, bank Act or of 1933. It some separates commercial banks from speculative banks. They okay. speculate with your money. That's what they did on Wall Street. With your money. Our money. Of course, and then we bailed them out with our money. Isn't that similar to uh, the Republicans wanting to gut Medicare and, and Social Security? Mm -hmm. They want to steal money that is not yeah. theirs. Mm -hmm. The thing with uh, Social Security is two things. Your money. Two things you have to remember about why they want to uh, uh, bother with Social Security. Number one is that they don't like the fact that the company has to put in its share. Number one. Number two is that they don't like it because it gives uh, what almost 70 million people independence not a lot because like twelve hundred dollars a year ain't a lot of independence well they want they want people they just want people to be very desperate yeah and become slaves yeah yeah, yeah. soup kitchens yeah, you'll be available for any kind yeah. of job they want to give you baby Somebody asked uh, Donald. Somebody asked Donald Trump a question about stupid ass question. Oh, do you think the the American dream can ever come back? I got news for and Do Donald Trump. He didn't really answer that he, question. He didn't he? answer it. He changed yeah. the subject about some guy with a red hat. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, changed yeah. the subject. All he did was echo the question back to the back person. Forth, right. yes. You know what the, the truth is? The capitalist system is rigged for the rich only and the American dream was only meant for the rich to experience well we period. only had the American dream after uh, FDR got elected and the New Deal yeah. that's the only time the middle class rose in the United States that's it that's it 1950s during uh, Dwight Eisenhower yeah. uh, were happy times there were prosperous times uh, po well we, we might as well say post World War II were were prosperous times when um, people can afford yeah houses homes uh, GI Bill cars put their cetera, kids cars put their school. kids through college and yeah. et cetera things were reasonable yes you know I mean uh, I mean I mean actually I read another article today about how great things are in the Scandinavian countries not only for oh don't you hear the criticism. Well, Norway's only got 4.6 million people. Hey, pal. Well, you know what? You're just telling me that socialism works, doesn't it? Well, guess what? The companies in, Scan in all the Scandinavian countries are thriving and doing well. Yeah. Despite the fact that they're paying their fair share in taxes and then some. Because that, exactly, over in this country, it's propaganda. That cutting taxes on the rich may provides jobs and better incomes for people. And say it's propaganda. It's, it's, it's total crap. But but even even it's even a favorable environment for businesses over there yeah. in Scandinavia. Nokia is doing very well, ain't they? Yeah. Well, yeah, you radio. know what? You know what's really a shame uh, in terms of the United States. It's a shame that the problem is that everyone's very survival is dependent on receiving money from some corporation yeah that's the problem yeah that's the problem in the system yeah the system is bad so when 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 somebody in the in the media interviews bernie sanders and and criticizes democratic socialism let me tell you something a person should not have to rely on their survival to by some company, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, like people that work for uh, 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 Walmart or McDonald's or or Staples or 
any any corporate chain I mean their very survival their sh their food their shelter utilities healthcare everything is coming from some fucking corporation yeah. that is a big problem yeah, that's correct but hey well the republicans will say well what do you want to do give away free money to people yeah well don't they take free money all the time from the yeah. taxpayers yeah but that's different isn't it they take they take subsidies and bailouts yeah all the time yeah and guess where it comes from does it come from the the rich republicans pockets no. No, 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 no. Comes from most the the, the middle class taxes no, no. and whatever consumption taxes the poor pays. But welfare is okay. Welfare Wealth. is not. Welfare is okay. That's welfare right. is bad. Yeah. That's correct. So and of course they got like I said going back to the media with the Bill Mayer and the Anderson Coopers and all them. You know they got to kiss. They're kissing the ass of their employers and all that, and the sponsors and shit like that. And uh, sometimes they don't even know what they're talking about, well, and has nothing to do with that. Because there are people who have really good jobs, who may have college degrees also, who are still brainwashed. They, I, I bet, a lot of people don't even know. Even professionals don't even realize that their history books were full of lies. But they don't even know that. Well, the point is, when anybody, a 9 out of 10 people, start talking about and yapping about socialism today, I can tell you, they are not talking about socialism, they are talking about totalitarianism. Okay? Yeah, what we have is a, a, a what, they, what Republicans really want, in reality, is a fascist theocracy. They already a, have it. An olig an ol a corporate oligarch. I guess corporate oligarch backslash fascist theocracy. That's what we have. Where the religion is is combined with politics. Corporations and, and theology, uh, religion married to the government is fascism, pure and simple. Right. Inst in this case, instead of being like with Mussolini, instead of being the corporation married to the government, in this case they want the corporation and the church married to the government. Well, they got it. They got it. Like your, like that, that's what your your Mike Huckabees are all about. Yes. And uh, but there's a war on Christianity. Well, for there to be a war, for there yeah. to be a war on Christianity, you have to have Christians in front of you first. Yeah, number one. And yeah. evangelicals like and phonies like Mike Huckabee and John Hagee and Pat Robertson, they are not real Christians. Correct. But you know what the. Uh, the board again, a uh, friend of mine says to me, Oh, uh, who, uh, who am I to judge? I cannot, I, 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 I'm, I'm not in their shoes. I cannot judge Joel Olstein. I says, I'm not asking you to, I'm asking you to open your eyes and see him for what he really is. Well, and call I would, him out. I would, ad, ad, I would uh, advise you to stop when you're dealing with situations like that. Take the personal out because that's going to lead nowhere. What you got to do, like some born again, is say, blah, 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 blah. Well, What about the Bible? The Bible says flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. So, how can you be born again and you are going to enter the kingdom of heaven? Or what if you're a man of God who's supposedly who's supposed to preach the word, but instead you're taking your donations and you're buying private jets? Then and, you're not a man of God. And mansions. So you know why would you give him that accolade? And and Rolls Royces and limousines. Right. Exactly. Yeah, well. Right. Anyway, everything we discuss, political, is part of our series. Capitalism in a conch shell. There is the conch. And uh, where's the capitalism? Oh, no, it's somewhere. It's somewhere in into the conch. The explanation. It's thereof. deep in the conch. Oh. Everything you've heard, you bubble-headed boobies out there, you teabaggers. A teabagger is is most likely a very uh, 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 ignorant, uh, naive, and, and just blatantly downright stupid person who. To, who most often doesn't have a pot to piss in. They could be poor or middle class. They they're usually not rich. They're usually uh, 
some a flag waving gun nut uh, 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 from a red state down yonder they're, they're, they're not in a high income bracket and they vote for people that are against their best interests billionaires billionaires yeah. and they vote for giving more money to the billionaires mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. meanwhile they're still living in a in a shack somewhere mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know poor those billionaires are protecting them okay they're protecting their rights yeah well maybe maybe they're voting for them because their crazy evangelical pastors are telling them that the uh, the democrats and the liberals are all a bunch of sinners and evil and this and that well what's the matter with their brains and why you know why would they believe things like that without researching it why would you believe a man who says something? You don't believe a man about anything. And and and, and the fact you that they it. they totally. And what about false information, lies, and phony, tampered with videos to demonize Planned Parenthood? I because mean, I mean, lies. They 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 the the Machiavelli. The end justifies the means. And speaking of the end, a fertilized egg is not a human baby, neither is an, an embryo. Okay. Hey, Seth MacFarlane said something, because I know he's a big, uh, like, Star Trek fan and, ah. and all that stuff. He said, in, in defense of Bernie, he says, I always respected scientists. I always liked science. Well, you have to. And the Republicans are very anti-science. No kidding. And why is that? Because the science is against them. But science reveals what they really are. Yeah. Part of science, science is based on studying, researching, and finding the truth about matters. Things. Okay, things. But some, the some Republicans are about... Allowing that smoke to continue coming out of those Koch brothers' smokestacks. The ideology they they uh, they want they don't like. I don't know if they, I don't think they really want to go back to the Middle Ages. I think they just want to cover up all the dirty deeds that they do with in any way possible. They 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 know that liberals and science progressives will expose them and do and have exposed them. They don't want to be exposed. Scientists will expose everything. I don't know. They expose themselves and they still continue. Like, like what has just happened with uh, climate change. McCarthy and, 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 and the Benghazi hearings, Adenham, etc. They do it. They expose themselves that it's all against, it's all about bringing down Hillary's numbers. Yeah. Now Seth That's nothing to do with Benghazi. Now Seth McFarlane, right, it was a witch hunt. That's correct. Seth yeah. McFarlane, just like there was the, the just Republican... Just like the McCarthy hearings. Just like the, the Republican witch hunt against Bill Clinton with Monica Lewinsky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made a big thing about it. Now, Seth McFarlane says, you know, when I really became a, a big Bernie Sanders fan is when during the debate, when they asked the question, what is the biggest threat to America or the world or whatever, and people said different things, but Bernie said yeah, climate, ISIS. climate change. Climate change, of course. Because it, it's... Because what are you going to do about it? It's like, you're fucked. Once it happens. Once, it, once we go beyond... The tipping points. The tipping point. Yeah. We're all fucked. That's it. When I say Back fucked... Back to the old... Uh, ice Age, you know, coming down uh, the middle of the country, you know. I read a couple articles about the, the, you know, the West Coast, man. It's all fault lines. There's a fault line in the Pacific Northwest that's ready to blow. Well, didn't you see the mudslides yesterday? I mean, big earthquakes. In California? The whole highway is shut down? I thought they have a drought. No, now they got too much rain in in too little of, of of a period, and now the mudslides have buried cars on the highway. I'm confused. Buried. They they're running out of water. They this get, was south. They get mudslides. You mean one particular? I area. believe the reservoirs in in the north. 
Well, that's where the Napa Valley wine country is, right? Yeah. In the north. So that's what I'm saying. But agriculture. They need it up there more than, you know. But I mean, down, in general, down. the state of California still has the drought. State of California speaking. is cursed. And Nestle's, cursed. Peter, Peter Brabeck is still pum water. pumping and bottling uh, uh, California spring water and mm -hmm. is allowed to do so. Inter well, you wouldn't want to put them out of business now, would you? Yeah. Oh, you would. No, you, I, I, you are not a capitalist, my friend. No, I care about the the need the needs of the many outweighing the needs of the few. Or the one. Yeah, but in America, see, capitalism is aligned with theology. Well, that's what it they say. A, it is a religion. Perception. So the ideology. You criticize capitalism. You're criticizing religion and morals and everything. Morals? Religion? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, no, right. I'm criticizing a cult. I'm not criticizing no, 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 real no, no, no. Christianity. The only way we get Perception, morals perception, is perception means nothing unless it's proven. Perception means nothing. If, if, the, if I take a photograph of a traffic light and that traffic light is green and, and Mr. Billionaire, uh, uh, dressed like the Monopoly man, insists that it's red, Guess what? My photo says the traffic light is green. Perception means nothing unless it, it can be proven. Well, there's a lot of perception in the JFK killing. And 911. Now you see this guy, you know what he believes in? It's like it's like a kid. Exposing it's like a proof. bully in school. Even though um even though you proved I'm wrong. I'm right because I'm going to pulverize you. Where did I be built wrong? No, like you're you're playing devil's advocate with people that are wrong, proven wrong, but you want to use dirty tactics to to get control of I you. I would use dirty tactics. No, not you. No, I, I mean, don't think so. I mean, you're defending. You're playing devil's advocate about what I said about maybe you're misunderstanding perception. Me. Perception. What about it? I just said perception doesn't hold any water if it, if it's not proven. I just told, gave you two instances of perception not proving it. The JFK murder and 911. Oh, I thought you were you were talking about the people who assassinated him. What about them? I'm not talking about oh, men. Oh, okay. I'm talking about the oh, ideas and things. Oh, you're talking about what the what the people, what the American people were Believe. fed were fed That's correct. by the media at that time. That's correct. And the research the hey, Warren Commission. What about the moon landing? <laughs> Etc. Anyway. The moon landing is accurate. Why would that not be accurate? How do you do away with the telemetry? How do you explain the telemetry? The telemetry. In other words, what, you, what you're saying... The signals what, from the moon what to the earth to the moon. How you, do you do that? What you're saying is some conspiracy theorists have gone too far occasionally. Well, I would say that they always go too far. If they want you to believe something that is not true, that is going too far. Well, then how far. come many of the shows I saw on conspiracy theory with Jesse Ventura, a lot of those shows came true? Which one? Not all of them. Which one? Name one. You don't believe in harp? That's not a conspiracy theory. The government controlling weather? That's not a conspiracy and, and theory. It's an actual a method that the government is using. Why is that right. a conspiracy? And about the the theory about the, the inside 9/11 uh, inside job. I just said that. They originally we were perception. they originally were called conspiracy theories originally. By because they were on the show called Conspiracy Theory. Well, stop watching those shows. But that's what they were originally called. Who called them that? Stop busting my goddamn balls. They were they were originally I'm called trying. Conspiracy Theories. I'm trying because to most of the people didn't believe it. it. Most Americans didn't accept it. Exactly. Therefore, it was a Conspiracy Theory. It was accurate. The people who were believing the garbage put out by the uh, committees and etc., they're the ones who were believing a conspiracy theory. A theory is like, the, like now they're saying the Big Bang did not create the universe. 
All right, a theory is a is is just what it is. It's a theory. If it has to do with um, something like harp or or, uh, or or UFOs or or 9/11, it starts off being a conspiracy theory. Then later on, when all the evidence starts coming out, then it becomes a fact eventually. You know, if it's if it gets out. But I'm talking about the definition of the fucking word conspiracy theory. Merriam Webster's d dictionary. We're getting That's back. All fine. We're getting back to science. Just like the That's time. All fine. Just like the time but he, are he the disagreed with. Oh, liberal and progressive are different. This is different. This is different. That's a no, no. Liberal and progressive are very, very synonymous if you read the damn dictionary. Yes, they are, but they also have different meanings. Not according to the dictionary. What did I tell you about going to the dictionary? Merriam-Webster has no real definition of conservative. Some, today. you know, some jabroni out in, in the YouTube land says that I don't have any patience and I should cool my jets and take a chill oh, pill. I believe that. Let, let me tell you something. It ain't my fault. I'm dealing with facts. I'm dealing with definitions. This guy, like, like Bill Morrow I'm does, dealing with the facts. likes to win, win, win when it comes to me. Uh, playing word games. Twist, this is, twist, this twist, is, twist, twist. This is the hundredth time I've said this. Twist. When people are arguing or people are trying to get agreements or trying to expose uh, subjects, etc., that is not a win situation. When it comes it to is education, when, not when it well. So is Miriam Webster's dictionary and no, the definition. No, it, it ain't a bit applicable anymore. Why is the Go why tell is the, Rush Limbaugh that hey Rush Limbaugh. You don't, your conservatism is not I like Marion Webster. You know what he'll tell you? You're damn right it ain't. But then you're talking about perception now. His perception. He's, no, you're talking about what he will do and does. Miriam Webster's uh, 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 definitions are part of education, part, part. Of, part of science. But they're not accurate. Well, well, spell check is often not accurate, but the, usually Encyclopedia Britannica and, 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 and Webster's Dictionary, they will give you the definition. Now, if you misinterpret it, I'm sorry. I mean, it's not, uh, you can't blame the academics for that. I when mean, did Merriam Webster make his dictionary? Based on the King's English? When did he make it? Well, we're not talking about slang words. He's now. obsolete. We're not talking about slang words. Absolutely. You, see, you, you guys, all you guys with, there's something, see, I'm, I'm an older dude, but I'm not arrogant. A lot of older you guys. You are arrogant? A lot of older guys. Well, wait a minute. A lot of older men have, to be, have to be fucking right. Older women, too, they I cut you off. That. They go, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know about that. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. They all have this thing. It's hormonal. They gotta be freaking right all the time. He's twisting you words. Misunderstand you see this conk? Education. It's in front of you. It exists. It's. I'm holding the conk. Somebody will say that's not a conk. That's a cowrie shell. And they will and they'll fight me that it's a cowrie shell. It's not a cowrie shell. I'm talking about what is. And how can you prove that? Because it's a conk. But how can you prove it? Motherfucker! You're talking to a guy who. You know, I, I need a vacation from this goddamn fucking show. I really do. No, you need a vac you need a little anger management, my friend. You are twisting real, real definitions of words from conspiracy theory to to uh, progressive versus liberal. William, uh, I mean uh, William. See? Miriam Webster is now uh, 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 not accurate at definitions because he's obsolete. Hey, buddy. He doesn't even you, know how anything. You, you want to come? You want to hey. come over and do my show for me? Marian the guy, the guy Webster. who thinks I need a chill pill. You want to come? come Marion Webster knows nothing about the internet. Nothing. There's nothing in Marion Webster word, about the every internet. Every word in the English language has a definition that. But is, not from Marion Webster. You have to have a dictionary which is updated. Guess what? The updated uh, dictionary has slang Man, words in it. That's Sl correct. Slang words are not real words. They are now. 
Who says so? Because they're in the updated dictionary. Bingo! Because assholes put them there. You're, right. you're very acceptant and tolerant of all these new ideas Absolutely. like the ghetto culture what is? And, and all these slang words, all this funky, like, you know, you ever see people spell their name wrong? Like, in other words, you have the actual hey, traditional... people can spell their name any way they want. No, they're, no, they're idiots if who they Who the hell do. is James Madonna they're telling idiots. them how to spell their name? Here's a guy who is, uh, all right. He's a progressive warrior. He's got a he's got a kick-ass newsletter, but he also is in favor of you know he's anti-death penalty. He's in favor of sp special treatment to certain groups that it's lobby in special groups. Treatment. Hey, you think I like going to a store and having the whole length of the store all handicapped parking? The yes. whole length? Yes. No. Why not? It was originally five. Then it went to seven. Well, they got a lot more disabled and people coming in the store. The whole front of the store is handicapped parking. Are you too lazy to walk from another that's car like, length down? That's like that's like uh, that? um, that's like quotas, uh, hiring quotas or something. You know, same same deal. You know. No, it isn't. What about education? What about you got the, two good legs and two good arms? What about the dumbing down of you got two good legs and two good why, arms? Why should somebody who's a different race get get it easy getting into college? Because they had it bad. That was at then. one time. That was then. That's not. That's, that's not why. now. What's the matter with you? That was then. That's not now. They're still suffering now. Getting into hey, college. Getting go college? to your go to your Redmen out west. You don't, Are they still suffering? You don't make the grade. What's the you, matter with you? You can't get your grade on the entrance exam. You don't get into the fucking college. Well, gee whiz, then if uh, uh, George W. Bush went to college, why should his son get in? Cause he's an alumnus. No, that would be special treatment. It is. Well, that's not good either. What's the matter with you? Damn ultra-liberal Pollyannas. You, you and Gary know. That didn't come from ultra-liberal. You and Gary know. That other, that, that, that. Leave the, the personal out. Blocks thing. me. He blocked me from, pro, from pro Progressive Radio Network from posting. He had a reason. He's a douchebag. Maybe he is, but he had a reason. Fuck. All right. It's his, look, it's his radio station. That's it's his right. page. That's he right. had his, he had his reason. That's correct. He had his reason. But That's anyway, right. Evelyn Pringle, you're a great progressive warrior. Uh, Mint Press, not bad. Mint Press is good too. Anyway, everything you heard about trickle-down economics is a lie. What you have is siphon up to the top 20% economics. There is no trickling down. That's the siphon. Uh, you saw the conch, and that's that. Probably time for lunch. It is. It's time for lunch. Fuck this bullshit. Pollyanna motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, the uh, let's live. Uh, 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 um, what is it called? Um, um, forgot the name of it. Uh, um, being liberal. The, the page being liberal. Uh, uh, Occupy Wall Street. PRN. These people have blocked me because my posts were just a little too hard hitting, probably. That's not why they blocked. It's like, let me tell you something. Tell the truth. People that sell out for the big mammoth corporations, whatever, whatever their name is, I don't care how famous they are, they're corporate whores. Uh, for what, whatever reason Gary had. Okay? Uh, he told you what Some it was. people are pro-Israel. I'm, I'm not. He told you what it was. Negativity. He doesn't well, like it. You don't like it? Well, it's not, it's not reality. A Pollyanna, a Pollyanna has, his, has, their head stuck, has their head buried in the sand. They don't want to see the real truth. Everything is through rose-colored glasses. That's fine. Okay, okay. He, his his non-negativity works for him. So why should you come along because, now and tell me wrong? Because that's how you lose the war against the forces of evil in the world. Is you, well, you certainly if have you're lost you're, the war. Okay. Well, then he's a hypocrite. Then he's not all about pure positivity. Because he rants. Doesn't Gary know rant? 
Doesn't he fight? No, he exposes the truth and expects people to do something about it. What the hell do you think I do when I post? You, you're negative. I post all... I just told you, I leave post, the person on the side. I post all great all articles. All, I'm not talking about your posts. What the hell does the post have to do? Negativity. I tell the truth about people. Like Hillary Clinton, uh, uh, Oprah Winfrey at that time. Selling out to Monsanto. I'm telling the truth. That, that Why? Because because I'm a little because I get a little because I expect intelligent people to do the right thing, and I get a little rough with my with my language. No, it's not rough. It's negativity. But it's 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 news. It's fact. It happened. You can you can put all of that stuff out there without negativity. How do you say something? How do you expose something wicked in a positive way? That's, you know, that's Just a very interesting there. point. Put it out there. How do you expose it in a positive way? How? Well, you wouldn't expose it and then say, Let me tell you something. I'm going to squeeze that guy's head until his brains come out. Boy, you wouldn't I, add that on. That addendum is unnecessary. But but they that's want all but they want saying. to allow but they oh, well, I didn't put that on Gary's page. Doesn't matter. But that's they, what but, he's saying. But they don't want to they don't want to allow the poor people enough money to survive. So why they should know. I so why they should feel. I be why should I be kind to Republicans? Because the personal is what the people will focus on. They won't focus on the subject. The subject. They, will su they will focus on, I want to squeeze it. Well, well, these are, well you know what? These are the same Democrats that didn't feel like voting last November 4th. Big deal. You yeah, can say big anything. deal. Your people are full of shit. All you like to do is is, is give your comments, We're but you don't want to vote. You don't want to get We're involved. We're not talking about that. You're not We're talking a, about negative. You guys are not progressive warriors. Don't change the subject. I'm telling you one time. I'm telling you. Uh, 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 if, if somebody doesn't have respect or, or is a sociopath when it comes to uh, uh, downtrodden, you know, uh, unfortunate people, they don't deserve respect. Respect has to be earned. And Republicans haven't earned it. When somebody is lying and trying to undermine you and, and has your, your worst interests at heart, uh -huh. of course they deserve to be choked out and punched in the face. And that solved the problem. That guy, that hedge fund uh, 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 expert that owns the pharmaceutical, the pharmaceutical yeah, company yeah, yeah, that yeah, raised yeah, the yeah. price of the HIV yeah, drug yeah, from thirteen dollars yeah, yeah, yeah. to eight hundred dollars each. He doesn't. Do, you ever see how smug that yuppie bastard looks? Squeezing his head does what? He doesn't help getting punched. He doesn't deserve getting punched in the face. Getting punched in the face does. Yeah. That? We'll do what? It teaches him a lesson. Where's the lesson? He still has the drug, the and he's is, still getting the seven hundred and fifty. He's a crook. No kidding. But how does the punch? Oh, in the oh, face? you got. Oh, you got to be. You got to be kind and and, and psychological no, 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 with no, the no. with the criminals. Oh, there's oh. not only one black and white way to it, go. It's just they feel the same way about parenting. They don't believe in spanking. Oh the man, kids. don't bring up these other subjects. They have nothing to do with anything. It's a part of a pattern. No, it, yeah, you're part of a pattern with negativity. These, ah, uh, you and Gary, no, blow it out of your Thank ass. Thank you. Blow it out of your ass. Thank you. Time for lunch. Thank you. We'll be joined by William Hamilton Morrow with a promo and uh, how to defeat a conservative um, Bible of verses.
this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to newsletter censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need newsletter censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hey, listen, for the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye. Okay, we're back. Thank you very much, William Hamilton Morrow III, for doing the promo. And now we will begin with the start of our readings because we are way, way, way behind. Most women with low sexual desire won't rush to get the first prescription drug to boost female libido when it becomes available today. Well, but they may have more options down the road. Of course, there's natural options. I think it must be older women because younger women could care less about getting laid. Addy, A-D-D-Y-I, is a daily medication that can't be taken with alcohol or certain other drugs. That's a funny name, Y-I. Which will likely limit its use. But experts say those restrictions could spur development of better treatments for women's sexual problems after more than a decade of neglect by most of the world's large drug makers. Kim Wallen, a psychology professor at Emory University, said, Aggie represents a historic milestone that may open the door to more drugs targeting desire in men and women. Where Viagra and other men's erectile <clears throat> dysfunction drugs work by increasing blood flow to the genitals. Yeah. Aggie acts on the brain chemicals. I know there's a ni nitric oxide plays a big role with men with uh, erectile dysfunction. But uh, 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 arousal is connected to f free testosterone in the blood, I believe. Associated with desire. This is the first time that a drug for either men or women has been approved strictly to increase sexual desire. That legitimizes many other drugs that are in development. Treatments for women's libido issues are an untapped financial opportunity for drug makers. There's a new product in the nutritional uh, industry uh, called Testoven, Testofen rather, made from uh, fenugreek standardized extract. It's both for men and women. It's, it's a hormonal, uh, it's a testosterone booster, and uh, also fenugreek. Uh, is the richest source of phytoestrogens, according to Dr. James Duke. Uh, so it's very good for women. Hey Duke, I want to duke it out. Yeah, it's very good for uh, uh, menopausal and postmenopausal women. You know, um, uh, and it will it increase your breast size. <gasps> from what I understand, for women, yeah, it, 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 it's it was used centuries ago in the Middle East, fenugreek. Analysts estimate the market could be worth more than $2 billion based on academic estimates that between 5 and 9 million U.S. women may suffer from desire disorders. So you're talking about a pharmaceutical. 
but the area hasn't been a research priority for drug makers in many years. Because women, you know, they always say sex is not a priority for them, you know, unless you're like a nympho. Beginning in the 1990s, Pfizer, Bayer, and Procter and Gamble all studied, then discarded drugs targeting female libido. Adye itself was developed by the German conglomerate Bohringer Ingelheim. Bohringer Ingelheim then sold to Sprout Pharmaceuticals <laughs> after the Food and Drug Administration rejected the medication due to lackluster effectiveness and issues like nausea. Did you say Sprout Pharmaceuticals? Fatigue. Sprout? Okay. And dizziness. It took Sprout <laughs> four years to win FDA approval for Adyen which acts on brain chemicals associated with mood and appetite. <laughs> the drug will come with a bold warning label about the risks of fainting! <sighs> fainting? If combined with alcohol or certain medications. I think they call it passing out today. Additionally, druggers, doctors and pharmacists must complete an online certification process to show they understand the drug's risks. Dr. Lisa Dabney said several patients had asked her about Adye, but they generally lose interest after she explains they cannot drink alcohol while taking the daily medication. Really? Because usually alcohol is a libido for women. It's definitely an option that's going to help patients. Maybe they need just a bottle of whiskey or so, some <laughs> vodka. But it's going to have a limited patient audience because the alcohol restrictions and the fact that you have to take it every day. Experts generally describe Adye's effect as modest. In company studies, women taking the drug, which also is called Flibanserin reported a slight uptick in sexually satisfying events each month. I would, I would, I would name it uh, something like clever, like uh, Aqua Volva. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> Their answers to separate questionnaires indicated they experienced a slight increase in desire and a slight decrease in stress. Analysts from Evercore ISI estimate Adye could generate sales of $200 million annually. That's far below the blockbuster numbers once discussed by the experts. And the one billion dollars that Volant Pharmaceuticals recently agreed to purchase Sprout. But the buyout has revived interest in a handful of competitors developing alternate treatments. Those products include a nasal spray, injections, and antidepressant pills. It could be years before any of them reach patients. Well, I am not a fan of pharmaceuticals, uh, only as a last resort, like surgery. Okay, what do you got there? Republican presidential candidates, Donald Trump and Ben Carson, and by the way, Ben Carson. I heard Ben Carson dropped out to go continue or go on his book tour. He's got a book out. He 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 he, he, he did drop out. This I is what know. I heard. 
Well, if he dropped out, he shouldn't be relevant. I mean... Correct. Correct. I don't know. I mean, I've seen... I've seen articles where it says they dro someone dropped out, a Republican dropped out, then other articles mm -hmm. that, like, they're still in it, to win it. Well, someone will be dropping out soon from the Republicans and the Democrats. It I can assure you. Oh, yeah. We uh, Webb? He Webb would, and Chafee. Oh, I would say Chafee first. Oh, the skinny Grandpa Monster? Grandpa Monster look alike. And, and yeah. Webb uh, he puts me to sleep when he talks. Now, O'Malley's got spunk. O'Malley's, he, he, he looks... He's got the imp personality, he's got an impressive look, he's tall, he's a decent looking guy, you know, he's got a... He's he, just not getting the people to cry. He's, he's not getting the people, but I like what comes out of his mouth. Yeah, if he was the only Democrat running. Yeah, if, you know? yeah he, he's big on the green movement, really big on getting away from fossil fuels and on a lot of the things that Bernie brought up. He was a very agreeable with most of them. So I like O'Malley. Um, I still say Elizabeth Warren will make an outstanding a vice presidential running mate for Bernie Sanders. Well, we'll see where she ends up. We'll see. We'll see. Or, or, or he, definitely in the administration. Anyway, Trump anyway. and Ben Carson are threatening to boycott the next GOP debate over its proposed format. In a joint letter to CNBC's Washington Bureau, Chief Thursday, the billionaire businessman and retired neurosurgeon said they will not appear at the October 28th debate Oh, unless it is capped at two hours hmm? with commercials and candidates are allowed to speak directly to the camera at its opening and close. Well, that's only, that sounds good to me. Ed Brookover, a senior Carson campaign strategist, strategist, said, the campaigns were caught off guard when CNBC informed them that no opening or closing statements were planned. But that was always part of the debates in the past. Trump has complained often about the second debate hosted at CNN, which ran for three hours. Yeah, oh. because, hey, we, uh, we ain't got no time to go take a piss. Well, there should You're going to stand there for three hours. There should be an intermission. I mean, I'm, I mean, not for coffee and, and, a da and Danish. Yeah, at least for a piss. But for at least for, yeah. Of course, the, the candidates can't have a piss jug with them. You know, that wouldn't... <laughs> You wouldn't really see it if they're behind a podium. You all got to be catheterized, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trump. See, CNBC spokesman Brian Steele, the network was aiming to host the most substantive debate possible, but was open to changing the format. You know, come on, man. They're only human. They should be able to go to the restroom. Uh, you know, even though they're Republicans, they they gotta go. They gotta go. <laughs> so uh, I know how that 28th. feels. Twenty eighth, huh? Twenty eighth. Yeah, yeah. It, well, well, they, they, it has to dwindle down because it, it's not financially uh, um, feasible to uh, continue running if your numbers are low or next to nothing. So. Uh, what about the uh, the, squ the squinty-eyed uh, penguin, uh, Ted Cruz? He's still hanging on there. He's still hanging. And what about... In fact, one poll, I saw him in third place. And what about the ugly old horse face for Fiorina? She's still there, too. Oh, God. I bet she'll be there for a while. Knowing... knowing the. She should be out after lying. The shrew, the horse face shrew that she is. She, yeah, she got caught in some lies. Why is she still there? Because Republicans like lying. That's how we got into Iraq. They lied us into Iraq. Maybe she was so far. And Hillary she, Clinton. Maybe so so far she's signed the, on. She so far she's the best liar, maybe, out of all the Republicans. No, her lie was so blatant. 
That's what I just said. She so was the best liar. The it's a synonymous to what you just said. We don't use the term best. She, uh, out of the the Republican candidate, she she was the she was the great uh, the greatest the greatest. Liar, yeah. yeah, that's good. Greatest, best. Again, we're best playing with a, words. Because best has a positive spin to it. That's what I mean to Republicans. It's a it's a trait. It's a positive trait right, right. to them. If you're limited to them, yes. Not to not to humanity. Yeah, just the yeah, Republicans. Yeah, yeah. Parents charged with beating their teenage son to death. Satan is doing it again. Inside a church are giving diverging versions of what happened. Though lawyers for both said Thursday the couple hadn't intended the brutality that unfolded. An attorney for the mother, Deborah Leonard, said she felt helpless to stop an intervention that spiraled into severe punishment by others at the Word of Life Church. Word of Life. But a lawyer for the father, Bruce Leonard, said the incident stemmed from a family <clears throat> meeting that had nothing to do with the church. <clears throat> Police have said a spiritual counseling session devolved into violent Sunday at the Word of Life Christian Church. At the Word of Life. As numbers, members, excuse me, tried to get Lucas Leonard, 19, and his 17-year-old brother, Christopher, to confess sins and seek forgiveness. Seek forgiveness from, from them? Yes, the church. From the church knows best. From them, huh? From from the pastor of the church. Yeah, whatever. So they he needs they need to uh, just spill their guts out to the pastor, and he has the power to uh, to save them and and forgive that is correct. them. And interesting how that works. After hours of being pounded with fists and kicked. The elder teen died, and his brother was hospitalized with serious injuries. So they were trying to beat sin out of him? I guess they did a... a they wanted to leave the church. I guess they didn't want him to leave. What is it, like joining a gang or the mob? <laughs> they, they wanted you to You use the term every week! They are cults! Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. They're cults, but people should be allowed to quit. Not a cult. You see what style happened to Jim Jones? Drink the Kool-Aid, baby! Drink the Kool-Aid! Yeah, but didn't Jim Jones drink the Kool-Aid also? Yes! What an idiot. But he was high as a kite. Where did he expect to go? <laughs> Well, he certainly didn't want to come back to the United States and face jail. Why did uh, Hitler put a bullet in his head? You think, you, th you think... Same reason. You think Hitler and Eva Braun really did die in that bunker? Oh, here we go with the more conspiracy yeah, theories. Yeah, right. They were on a U-boat headed for Argentina, my friend. Okay, okay. Let's accept your conspiracy theory. Where are they today? He got a haircut. He shaved off his mustache. Where are they today? Uh, you think they it, couldn't find you them. think Hitler could be working at a job at Walmart listen huh there's plenty of room in Argentina for uh, Mussolini's people and uh, Hitler's people yeah they were called Pinochet plenty and of room Peron. okay they weren't Hitler and Mussolini they had their day they're finito even even, Done, the, even the Knights Templar changed their name when they were in hiding from the very church they used to work for. But anyway. Older Americans got a double dose of bad news on Thursday. Yeah, I know, I heard. There will be no cost of living increase in Social Security benefits next year 
and Medicare bills are set to soar. Yeah, but uh, but the but the uh, salaries and benefits of all those Republican uh, congressmen and senators are going to soar. Well, if I'm not mistaken, and I could be, because I've heard it before, when they measure the CPI, they don't measure the cost of oil, but now they are, and since gas is so low, there will be no cost of living increase. You mean so like either I am misunderstanding what has happened in the past, or someone is lying. Are they? Are they? Are, Oil and food are not in the CPI. Because these two things are volatile. Excuse me. They're no, in. They're not in the CPI. They are not in the CPI. The but, basket. But, but they're. But they're part of survival. You, well, that's not part of CPI. Then what? What is? What good is the CPI? It if ain't it's not, any good. It's not accurate. It ain't any good. It's bullshit, then. And the chain CPI is even worse. It's bullshit. It's they're just, they're just a typical. They're political excuses not to give it's people like, on fixed income anything. It's like the Kidder law, the Social Security law, which states very clearly that if you are working, you are not disabled, my friend. So working. And as Chief Justice, not Chief Justice Roberts, yeah, Chief Justice Roberts says. If you can brush your teeth, you are not disabled. That's just an excuse not to give out disability. It's a bookkeeping trick. That's all it is. So, in their mind, a person working part-time for minimum wage can, can live off that and survive, in their opinion. They don't care. Why would they care about that? The, well, then the, then the person who's disabled uh, or elderly, um, or uh, just flat out poor. Yeah. They have their they have their their self interest too, just like the greedy scumbags. Yes, they do. And the Bible says the poor have a right, a right. Jeez. A right. A right. It's just the third time in forty years that Social Security payments will remain flat. All three times have come since 2010. I mean, under a fair system, there, there, there should be an annual cost of living increase. I mean, don't you think? Did we see meat go up this year? Did we see veggies go up this year? Did we see uh, uh, other food items oh, go what up this year? Without a doubt, because of the drought. Yeah, but they don't count the food. Because uh, so much produce comes from California and the drought that's going on, the permanent drought, they're going way up. Fruit has gone way up. But that's not in the... Uh, in the measurement for in, the CPI. In the measurement for the CPI. But what they call a market basket. They have a basket of certain things which determine the CPI. And as far basket. as I know, as I'm saying again, oil was not ever in the basket and neither was food so it's like that it's like that basket that package that pathetic package that that poor people get at the food pantry where they can't even decide what they want to take home to eat they you know it's a pre-made basket of crap and that's what they get so the the politicians in Washington have decided what the basket's going to be. That's correct. Interesting. Meanwhile, meanwhile, those congressmen and senators are eating pretty damn good, and, and their families really good. I wonder if they got their raise yet. Sure, they have. They raise the the best do, do the best health care money can buy for free. The retirement, early retirement, the best retirement packages. That they they all have voted for, right? Yes, they voted so that it automatically occurs, and they don't have to vote and let the people bitch at them. It's automatic. Capitalism is the proven devil's economics. It's rigged for the rich. There is no American dream for the middle class and the poor, unless you get really, really lucky and you know a lot of people that can give you a lot of breaks or you win the Powerball lottery but see this this is 
what I have to say to the evangelicals, right-wing fundamentalists. Take it up, serpents, because this is capitalism, the devil's economics. The annual cost of living adjustment, or COLA, by law is based on a government measure of inflation that was released on Thursday. Low gas prices are driving down consumer prices. The lack of a COLA will trigger a spike in Medicare deductibles and premiums though dozens of advocacy, advocacy groups are lobbying to prevent that. Most Social Security recipients have their Medicare Part B premiums for outpatient care deducted directly from their Social Security payments. And the annual cost of living increase is usually enough to cover any rise in premiums. When that doesn't happen, a long-standing federal hold harmless law protects the majority of beneficiaries from having their Social Security payments reduced. But that leaves about 30 percent of Medicare beneficiaries on a hook for a premium increase that otherwise would be spread among all. Premiums could jump by about $54 a month to $159. Wow. No, oh, man, no. Hey, all you, all you dirt poor people living out there in Kentucky and Mississippi and, you know, keep on voting Republican. Keep on voting to make your pastor happy. You know, you're, you, you're going to continue, you're going to be even you're going to be eating f weeds outside pretty soon for your meals. Let me do this. Priorities, survival. Let me do Priority this is the basics of survival. That should come first. What we got there? I was shocked and saddened to read that Billy Graham believes that non Christians are going to hell. Oh, really? I know he is an educated man, but to believe that only Christians will be saved is unfathomable. Human beings are judged on how they live their lives, whether they left the world a better place, whether they were good parents, whether they did not consciously hurt another human being. Graham does not speak for me and millions of other people, his message is divisive, hateful, and just not true. Well, I would, I would think um, uh, God would look deeper into the heart, and, um, you know, there are people on this planet Earth that uh, were never exposed to Christianity while, while they were alive. And that doesn't mean they were not nice people. I mean, anybody could be an, a decent human being, you know. Uh, they will have their chance. A, 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 a Buddhist. Uh, uh, all religions have a really nice, decent people. When the devil is put away for a thousand years, only God's message will get out. There was a <sighs> So they will learn about God and His ways yeah, but, and law. But Christianity is not the only religion that preaches kindness and positive things, and you know, and, and love and things like that. I mean, there there are there are the there are all, only evil cults preach evil things. So what I'm saying is there are many good people that are born of other faiths and other cultures. So for Billy Graham, they are not of God. So for, and if you're going to uh, you're going to listen to something Billy Graham said, they're not of God. Well, they 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 they, they do believe in a deity. They just have a different name for him. Not a statue. I don't mean like a, a, a 
that kind of a god, not a pagan god, but they do believe in a creator. But because he, it's not the traditional, you know, uh, Israel via European god, then it's not a god. To some individuals. It's not the biblical God, period. The okay. biblical God pre existed all other religions. All other religions. There's no religions that are in competition with God. Then why is the biblical God, why is the Bible is so uh, fixated with Israel? Because that is the only country, Tell nation. Me that God exposed himself to. Okay. He married ancient Israel. I know you're a, you're a fan of Israel, I know that, but that's, that's Did your Did you hear business. what I said? What? It is the only nation that knew God. God married them. No other nations came close to God. That's why Israel is what it is. Yeah, the whole, the whole entire, uh, the whole shebang takes place there. Yeah, because God exposed himself to them. Yeah, he, he, th 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 that was the part of the world he chose. He didn't choose a part of the world, he chose them out of Egypt. He led them out of Egypt to the promised land. I just said that. He yeah. chose that culture and that part of the world to expose himself to. That's what I just said. What you said is synonymous with what I said. I don't think so because his exposure was done in Egypt. Not in, well, not uh, in Canaan. Okay, his exposure was he led done them to in Canaan. Egypt. So yeah. therefore that is the part of the world. You know, the planet Earth is not all uh, 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 the Middle East and Egypt. He started to expose himself in Egypt because he chose to. He exposed himself in the Garden of Eden to Adam. All right, then he exposed himself to Mesopotamia where supposedly there were the Tigris and the Euphrates and the other river that died up, dried up later. All right, then that was the first part of the world he exposed himself to. Right. To that area, the, the Babylon, the Mesopotamian right. area. All right. But they weren't Israel at that time. No, no, okay. but he chose the course of history he happened to be in that part of the world. Middle East. Because that and was... Egypt. The Garden of Eden was there. It was a beautiful part of the world. Well, of course, it was the Garden of Eden, but but okay. he could he could have picked a uh, 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 so, uh, southeastern China. Yes. He could have picked uh, the Americas. He could yeah. have picked uh, for Samoa. He could have picked uh, New Zealand. But no, he picked that part of the world. Well, New Zealand didn't exist at that time. I mean, the land mass is just... Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. It was a colony, British colony. I don't know how far back the right. Aborigines but, go, but... but... But, I mean, he, he could have exposed himself to the ancient Indian and Empire. I mean, he, but he chose that part. Those countries were part of the biblical history, is what I'm trying to say. That's great. Graham does not speak for me and millions of other people. His message is this divisive, hateful, and just not true. Why would I want to join a church that condemns righteous people of all faiths? Graham seems self-righteous, judgmental, and just plain mean. Well, I don't know about him being mean, but, you know, yeah, the others, yeah. He should be worried about the message he preaches and his afterlife. If people are sent to the emergency room, people of different faiths are often involved in trying to save their lives. Mm -hmm. Continuing with Mr. Graham. Mr. Graham. And remember, Mr. Graham said they were going to hell. 
But there is no such concept as the traditional hell in the Bible. Well, these the evangelicals are always okay. talking about the hell fire, the place of torment. Well, they are talking about punishment, which I think somebody in this room also is very concerned with. Punishment. Yeah, getting even. Getting yeah, even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But God isn't like that. Yeah, like when somebody fucks with you, 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 yeah. Only God. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Yeah. Not yours. Not when somebody does unto you and it hurts. What did Jesus say? When somebody turn the other cheek. Turn the other cheek and feel the pain. And, and, and in other words, Do suck... Do good unto your enemies. Suck it up. What about the suffering you endure? What do you do? What do you do? You just suffer? I guess so, because uh, this life is not, is not supposed to be the uh, end all and be all of your existence. I mean, I mean, uh, what happened to me on a personal level was pretty traumatic. Uh, uh -huh. I, 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 I don't think I should just sit back and not and not have justice served. I mean, uh, uh, by law, there's no, there was nothing I can do. But uh, I feel that uh, that people that do unto others should should get some payback in some way, either legally or something, something. But anyway, Billy Graham has always had a compassion for where people spend eternity. <laughs> God's love and merciful, and has spoken through the Bible on who will be saved in heaven and who will be damned in hell. Here we go again. But he with the traditional concepts yeah. of heaven and hell, which are not in the Bible. But Billy Graham, Franklin Graham, Mike Huckabee, uh, 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 all of them, all of them, uh, 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 the irrelevant Kim Davis. They all have a bat phone to God. They all know what your fate is going to be, which is amazing. The Bible says. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Whoever, whoever believes in him. And then there are other things to do, like works. Now, if you believe... You are saved by faith, but you must have works. If you believe in him... That means you must take on the Christ uh, godly life. You cannot go around. Well, if you're like, going to be a Christian, yes, like, of course. Like being an e like what evangelicals think. They think the law is nailed to the cross, and they can go on acting like selfish scumbag assholes. And but they're covered by the blood. They're forgiven. You know. Graham's faith is based on what the Bible says. He has devoted his life to warning people. And now, as his life nears its end, he still is concerned about people. Good works alone will not save anyone. It is sad that people believe that Louis Zamperini, who is known through the book Unbroken, thought Graham was a good man. Well, uh, uh, it depends what you're doing good works for. If you're doing it to win a, a, a brownie points and a, and a ticket to, to heaven, and you're not doing it out of your heart because because you want to do it, that, that's that, that's insincere works. He became a new and a changed man through the preaching of Graham, and became a Christian speaker, traveling throughout the country to talk about his life. Well, you know what? You gotta have that foundation. Those tablets that were in the uh, Ark of the Covenant, that's the foundation. Otherwise, how on earth could you define uh, what is sin, what is not? Now, Graham is an evangelical, so they, they believe in a type of Dante's Inferno. They, 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 they don't... Punishment! Yeah, they don't believe in... Uh, that everyone is awaiting the, the great white throne and awaiting resurrection. 
uh, you know, that uh, I guess they believe when you die and you see the white light and, and you head for the white light, you, Go see, towards the light. you see all your, rel your dead relatives standing there waiting for you. Come! With coffee, Come to me. with coffee and donuts, uh, all you know, ready. Pumpkin to, donuts. Pumpkin muffins. It's that time of season, you know. It's pumpkin that time. pancakes, pumpkin muffins. It's time. That's time of year. Yeah, yeah. too. They're all waiting. They're all awaiting you. Mm -hmm. um, um, I was uh, giving a little little tat tidbit of the capitalism. Um, I order Chinese food from a uh, local Chinese takeout in Hasbro Kites, New Jersey, called Homemade Kitchen. I place my order. The girl says to me on the phone, it'll be uh, 1852. You know, for, meal for two people. 1852, right. Doorbell rings. The food is here. Um, I give the man a $20 bill and, and a couple bucks as a tip. You know, so uh, a dollar, so you know, so twenty-one dollars. So I figured that should do it. He uh, opened the door. He says, uh, "Oh, you owe me." Eighteen uh, fifty. Uh, no, he says, "You no, know, he doesn't say eighteen fifty-two. She says, "You owe me uh, twenty dollar. You owe me twenty dollar." I says, "No." The girl says, "Eighteen fifty-two." Uh, oh, twenty dollar? No. I says, "Look." It says right here on the receipt, 1852. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. He went and j jacked up the price, maybe, because he wanted to pocket some extra money. There's there's your nature of capitalism for you. It could be a tiny ill-gotten gain, or it can be a gigantic ill-gotten gain. Back to the colas. Back to the colas. The decision to once again hit the retiree for a few much-needed dollars based on a single criterion is wrong and in so many ways. How can the price of gasoline alone possibly justify the suspension of the few dollars doled out to 14.5 million men and women? I don't eat or wear gasoline nor do I rely on it to pay for medical expenses, all of which continue to rise daily. If cola were based on the cost of a pound of hamburger, I could afford to buy some of it next year. It seems to me I am not an economist that a better way to determine the true cost of living would be to average the cost of all consumer items. We already have that tool in place with the Consumer Price Index. Use it. Perhaps the true percentage cost would be too high. But it is workable and a better picture of what each person has to pay for goods and services. If members of the Congress had only social securities to live on. I bet the criteria would change in a hurry. Oh, wait! They had their own retirement plan. Yeah, the best. Well, if it, when it comes to rich people and Republicans, if it's not their problem, they don't care. As soon as it hits home and the shit hits the fan and it becomes their problem now, then they become very humble and they become more progressive. They become liberal when when they're da when they're down on their luck and they're hit rock bottom, they change fast. But if it's not their problem, they don't That's care. If they become aware. Like the poor. Unlike those people in Kentucky. Yeah. Like like Who the keep poor. keep voting for billionaires. Yeah. Okay. Well, like somebody said about uh, under FDR's banner Hey, he was born wealthy. One percent. He was part of one percent. I and, right. and I says, you know what? I honestly think, if he did not get polio, contract polio, and be humbled by it, that is correct. He might have uh, ended up becoming a stingy, greedy, right-wing, rich elitist. Exactly. So it. it and it, he would not be have been elected four times. 
Right, and there would be no uh, uh, FDR, what is it called? The big the deal. New Deal. The New Deal. There would, there would be no FDR New Deal. There would be no FDR uh, regulations on, on big business. There will be no FDR uh, uh, Social Security as we know it today. Uh, none of that would have happened if FDR would have stood healthy. So maybe... I, and, and, and it's really not a nice way to 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 uh, do something positive, but maybe there was a divine reason why FDR got polio because he he uh, no because God doesn't go around picking and choosing people you know but, to disable or or, but, or kill but, or but, whatever. But in order for FDR to do he all got the, polio. Very simple. It was a big disease in those days. You, you don't believe in fate. It's that not things fate happen when the for a reason. With polio, then it happens. Well, then uh, he, if he didn't, if he didn't, in order for FDR to become the way FDR was, it wasn't from his rich background. No, no, we're not arguing that. In other words, you were just saying divine intervention. Well, that, well at that time, well, God does not well then like who? That. Well, then, do you think somebody else would have came forth and done what FDR did? No, it wouldn't it have would happened. Never, it would never have happened. But it, but it was really important that it did happen. Yes, it was. You know, life is a matter of balance. Negative, positive, abadu, badibadu, badama. You know. So, sh so when shit happens, we're all supposed to suck it up and accept it. Well, what's the old saying? You suck it up and accept it. You, you, you suck it up and accept it. Other people want to be proactive. But and, if you get and if, do if something, if life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Lemons are very healthy for you, actually. Uh, yeah, I, I know what you're talking well, about. Well, or. If life gives you lemons, you arrange it so you end up with mangoes. You don't just suck it up and accept it as a pacifist. You don't just suck it up and accept it. You do something about it. You become very proactive. But there are things that one person cannot do by themselves by themselves right like i give you an example okay i know i'm giving her a lot of kudos but she deserves it evelyn pringle pringle she rants and raves and lose blows her stack and, and loses her, her temper about a lot of things but she's justified in doing so she's she's not she's not as pacifist as gary no gary gets mad but eh, you know he only goes so far Evelyn blows her stack like I do. The only difference is I coice. Curse, I'm sorry. That was Brooklyn for, cur for curse. I coice. You know, that's the only difference. But when life gives you lemons and you deserve mangoes and papayas, you make sure you go out there and fight for your mangoes and papayas. I would advise anyone <clears throat> with these ideas about life. Yes. To take up the Bible and read the whole chapter on what of Job. Oh, the guy who had everything taken away from him. That's correct. For a reason. That's correct. And what was the reason? To which uh, he, by the way, did not even notice. Well, he God had a conversation with Satan, Lucifer. What does that have to do with Job? Right before Job had everything taken away, and Satan says, "Oh, Job is." Uh, Job just is loyal to, to you, God, because you, you, you provide him with nice things. That's great. And it was in a, kind of an experiment. But that wasn't the question. The question was, what was Job's sin, which he was not aware of, even? Well, Job was like rolling in dough. He was living high on the hog. He was uh, kind of like a stuck-up bastard, I guess. He was self-righteous. That's oh. what he kept saying. Oh, like the I do everything right. Why like, am I suffering? Like the Pharisees. He, he was self-righteous. Uh... That's correct, but he didn't recognize it. So God had to punish him. 
to bring him around. He got humbled. He got humbled. Like when the Aryan Sheik says, the camel clutch, I must humble you, put you in the camel clutch. No, I mean, yeah, if you, got, if you need to be humbled, you should be humbled. But, you know, what I say is based on tangible reality. If I lie, I'll apologize to you. You prove me wrong, I'll apologize to you. But so far, I've been right on the money. But, uh, yeah, when life gives you lemons and you deserve mangoes and papayas, you go out and avocados. Actually, look, if you deserve a cornucopia basket and life gives you lemons, you make sure you go out there and fight for that cornucopia basket. And that's what Bernie's doing right now. Because you deserve that cornucopia basket. Back to the cola. Oh, the cola's not over with you? This is, is this the last? This is the last? The last of the last. All right, last cola. Please. You should know that this travesty is deliberate. Yay. The cost of living adjustment is based on the consumer price index, <clears throat> which is measured and reported by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, which I might add, this is an aside by me, is rigged! Yeah, like the USDA and the FDA, all the all these government agencies that people think have our best interests. It is phony for two reasons. The basket of goods used to calculate the CPI contains the wrong goods. Goods that not a majority of Americans buy and use. Also, the weights assigned to the goods are wrong. But that's not all. A few years ago, the Bureau announced that there would be no increase in the COLA because there would be no increase in the CPI that year. That announcement was made in May. How could the Bureau of Labor Statistics know there would be no increase in May? Hmm. We still have June, July, August, September, October, November, December to go through yet. Yeah. What if the prices rose then? Yeah. So that's why they're crooked. They're rigged. You gotta hang on to this article. You I know? should, I should like try to take a scan this or take a picture. Well, of you it. can take it home with you. Now this, this is better than the other one, right? This is, this goes into detail. About that cost of living. The answer, of course, is. It could not, but was ordered to do so. Why these shenanigans? As your editorial points out, any increase in the COLA results in increases in Social Security. Payments to disabled veterans and federal retirees and is used as the benchmark for any increase in federal employee salaries. That's a lot of money. So it behooves the administration to keep the increase as low as possible. Or nothing. Lest it increase our already humongous federal deficit. It is a con game. And American people are the marks. Yep. American people are the marks. Come inside, see the tattoo lady. Oh, the carnival, the carny. The carnival snake oil salesman, yeah. Tattoo lady, yeah. See the uh, the world, the man with the world's smallest head, or whatever. Ooh. I wonder if he was squeezed. Like Beetlejuice, <laughs> the movie Beetlejuice. There was, there was a guy uh, that worked at Pathmark uh, stocking shells uh, like that. He had a tiny head in proportion to his body. Poor guy. Yeah, he was in, working in grocery. Yeah, yeah you're, um, it's probably something happened to him. Is that this was years ago? It looked like I mean, an upside down uh, uh, garlic bulb. Yeah, his no, head. Maybe was, that's too big a head. No, his head was very small in proportion to his his torso, his body. You know, but uh, but anyway, thank you for joining us this week. 
some some shows go smooth some weeks go smooth and others don't but we're glad to have you have a good one have a have an enjoyable weekend and a safe uh, rest of this coming week temperature is down it is chilly it is very chilly and windy autumn is definitely here my favorite time of year Ooh. you're gonna get pumpkin pie soon no no now you can get pumpkin pie for months to come couple of weeks maybe there's no shorter no no they they, they around thanksgiving they they just use friggin uh, canned pumpkin canned We're, pumpkin is better than the pumpkin itself and in fact there is a shortage of pumpkins this really yeah yeah well anything vine ripen martha stewart says the pumpkin in the can is fine yeah okay well what um what Stephen R. Santangelo was talking about was how Americans got their food back in the day. Everything was local, family-owned farms, naturally organic and non-GMO. Correct. 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 Lo local, local, local. By local. By local. No factory farms back then. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.